Oh, I've got a good one on. Well, I picked up and threw a crankbait out there, a big crankbait. And a good pull hit it. Oh man, it's a good fish. Jumped him right in the net. All right. All right, get us some of that. How about that? That's a toad right there. That's a Toledo Bend specimen like we wanted to catch when we came out here. He's not one of those giant double digit dudes, but he is one fine fish nonetheless. Hit a big old deep diving crankbait out here. Well, when these fish move out on these humps and ridges, like we talked about, Carolina rig is a great way to catch them, but if the fish are active at all, and if they're feeding on shad at all, you can't be digging a big, deep crankbait off these deep ridges. All right, let's, uh, let's let that fish go back. All right, that was fun. And I'll tell you what, uh, what you want to do. You want to fish these ledges where the ridge drops off into that deep water. You want to find a spot that's whatever the shallowest is, whether it's 6, 8, 10, 12, find the spot where it ledges off. And then here's the other key. That was a classic example. I made a big long cast, ground that crankbait down, and I could feel it in contact with the bottom. And then it hit a stump, and I actually got snagged on it for a minute. But I didn't pull back and bury those hooks. I just gently shook that rod, gave it a little slack, and that crankbait will float back up out of that stuff, and that's where you're likely to get a bite. So it snagged, floated off, and when I started it again, that's when that big boy right there rolled up and got it. That was a good specimen and a perfect example of what can happen out here. Okay, got something working. Beautiful, calm day out here. You don't get many windless days like this on a giant lake like this. It can really get rough out here, but we've got a good day going right now.